All right, how's it going? In my second video of the day. Yeah, I have to listen to the radio and then do this video at the same time. I uh, hope everybody's had a great day today. Uh, this is 15 October in the evening time, okay? So, shout out. Uh, although I live out west in Las Vegas, uh, to all my peeps back home in Virginia, up in Philly, uh, Tennessee, and in Georgia, okay? Shout out to all my subscribers. All right, I got to try to get these subscribers up to a thousand, okay? So make sure that you like, send some comments, tell your friends about me. And also I have a page on IG, okay, that uh, you can uh, visit too, okay? I just hadn't completed it, but I started it, okay? Um, okay, so I want to talk about another edition of The Fall of Diddy. Okay, and I had this information about a week and a half ago, but I wasn't able to put it out today. So these are just other pieces to the puzzle. Okay, I mean this is going to be a very big uh, case, and this is I think the beginning of the end of Hollywood. Okay, or many people that are in it of the old way, of the old ways. I'll say. So, but trying to take this man down, it won't be easy. Now, I want to talk about here. This, this is recorded information, information you can find on the Internet. OK. So the L.A. Uh, police Department had 45 calls. Uh, disturbance calls that is pertaining P. Diddy parties. OK. Uh, many of them pertaining uh, noise and so forth, okay? Many of them uh, pertaining noise, but there was also uh, complaints about assaults, okay? Uh, more than likely uh, sexual assaults, okay? So uh, maybe almost 100% in the good, maybe 90% are going to be cases based off that, okay? Uh, noise complaints and assaults, be it men or women, okay? Whether children have been affected or not, I'm not sure, not as far as in this case, but there is complaints uh, from at least one minor, okay? That has been made, and I need to get around to get more information about that before, I've been, before I put that out. Although there has been celebrities like Usher, Justin Bieber, Okay, like Foxy Brown, uh, trying to think who else. Beyonce has been at these parties when they were teenagers, what, like 15, 16. Okay, these were teenagers. All right. Now, depending on what, what state a woman, a young lady could be 16 years old and talk to a grown person. Okay, depending on what state. Now, Many of these uh, parties were held at P. Diddy's estates in New York, California, and he was supposed to have a state, uh, a state down in Florida. But we're going to talk about the, the cases in California and the L.A. Police Department of so why they got those calls and they didn't do anything about it. OK. They were probably paid off. OK. Or, or I'll just say them folks had probably saw to it that he was protected for a while until he wasn't, okay? That's what I'm thinking that probably happened, you know? Uh, the police was in, well, they were taken care of. More than likely, the police was in uh, P. Diddy's pocket. Furthermore, there were many, there were some rape kits all right, that were made to the L.A. Police Department. All right. Uh, I guess from reported. I'm sorry. Let me be careful about saying that word. You have to be very careful about that word. Grape. All right. Or S.A. 
uh, complaints with the kids. Uh, and nothing was done. Now, I don't know. I may have to sec second that motion because who's to say that the grapes were bogus? Who's to say that they were maybe somebody may have been to a party, for example, and maybe had SEX with somebody at that party. Could have been Diddy, could have been somebody else. Maybe somebody that, you know, promised them the world, got what they wanted out of them, and then just say, you know what? I don't know, I changed my mind or whatever, okay? Or maybe the woman or man and maybe find out that the person could have been, you know, that did, uh, you know, initiated the SCX Act, decided to mess with somebody else, so they turned around and, and reported it a great uh, case. So, I believe that may have happened, but I, I believe that some of those kits, that there's got to be some type of truth to it. You know, trying to sort all this out is going to be a heck of a challenge. That and other uh, facets that I, I talked about. If you look in some of the other videos that I made, okay, uh, things like weapons, uh, other stuff about minors being uh, minors being invited to these parties, all right, being flown out, and so forth, all right. These essays at these parties, uh, complaints. Um. So, and then they, again, many celebrities at these parties. So they have to try to figure out, you know, who who was it. Well, they already know who was there because the FBI had found, from my understanding, more than 200 tapes. But what I want to say is, okay, that they were there, but were they involved in any of these these uh, acts that could be? chargeable okay criminally charged and how would they be involved okay were they actually participating in it or maybe aiding and abetting okay or maybe watched and didn't do anything particularly let's say if somebody maybe had pugilist skills or they were maybe like bodyguard guards or something all right that somebody could that could have just stopped it. So, even if you're in a position like that, where you could do something to help do something about it, and you don't, it could be a case where you could be charged for failure to act. Like me, you know, I'm former military. I have combative skills. I have first aid skills and so forth. All right. Uh, I also have skills to where I can handle myself in emergency situations, pressurable situations. And maybe I'd seen somebody, maybe for example, was having a stroke or having a seizure in a restaurant. And I don't try to do anything to, you know, to save their, help save their life, either try to give the fibrillator or try to call the, you know, an ambulance or something like that. I could be charged for failure to act. Or maybe if I saw a lewd act on the street or in a party, all right? Yes. So, if they really want to come after these people and have charges like that, they really they can. Okay. So, just another piece of the puzzle here. All right. I think uh, as a result of that, when this is all over, what I probably could see is a class action lawsuit against the LA Police Department. Okay. Uh, particularly if they find these, you know grapes true but there's got to be some type of evidence and witnesses okay so I could see some people maybe getting some type of bag from the LA uh, police department based on these you know 45 calls including these you know kits and so forth but let me know what you think about the video here. I'm going to be putting out more content pertain uh, pertaining to B, uh, P. Diddy. What am I going to put out probably next? I'm not sure. All right. Maybe some of the testimonies from uh, other uh, celebrities and all that. Okay.
And one more thing, don't you seem like, don't it seem like the celebrities that you know that really quiet, but a lot of the complaints that they're getting are like no name people. All right. All right, let me know what you think about the video. Cash app dollar sign, Winston Spivey, if you want to donate.